This is a classic urn-shaped pot whereby you really can't take this plant out if you wanted to. So if you are going to transplant it or whatever it's going to be, it's either the pot gets smashed or you kill the plant. Now this is a Westrindia, it's a native plant. This particular one has sort of lavender flowers and it grows hideous. You prune it all the time and it still grows gawky and ugly. I don't know that I would ever buy another native Westringer. To me, they're plants which are hard work and they don't give you much in return. So that's an easy decision for me. I'm now going to destroy this plant, cut its roots out, and then remove the potting mix and, and put something better in there. I love this tool, no money paid to me or anything, but this is called a big boy, it folds away. Beautiful Japanese steel, and so good at cutting branches. Almost as easy as a chainsaw. Now looking at this potting mix, it's actually not too bad, but it's been in there for some years, so what I'm going to do is reinvent the potting mix. Well now I'm going to renovate this potting mix. It's old, but it's not too bad. Oh, by the way, this would be a great soil conditioner in your garden. Old potting mixes, never throw them away, put them out into the garden. Anyway, this potting mix is a bit old. Now, an ideal potting mix always has sand in it. I would say at least a third by volume, maybe even a half. But they don't do that because it's too heavy to carry to the car, so people won't buy it. So this is a um, river sand. Always use river sand, don't just use any old sand. It's got to be a, a horticultural sand, which is river sand. Mind you, you could have mixed a very fine gravel into this potting mix, and that would be awesome. Now, I'm going to put a bag of new potting mix in with it. It's worth noticing that even your premium potting mixes are made to a standard in Australia where obviously I live and all the industry wanted, that is the growers, the pot people that grow pot plants, um, all they wanted was for it to work for about a year. So they've only worked out mixes that work for a year, which means if you put them in a pot for long term use these things really play up and they fail certainly after about three or four years. Whereas a mix with good sand in it and stuff like that, you won't have that problem. So a premium potting mix is still an inferior potting mix. This is a plant I'm going to put in the pot. And this is an old gardener's trick. This poor plant sort of has no back to it. See? No back. But then there's a shrub at the back of this plant and it couldn't grow there anyway. So this is the perfect plant to put in that pot. Now firstly I want to show you this pot is correctly shaped. That's a joke because it's close at the top and you can't replace the plant that's in there after a few years. Look at this one. The perfect nursery pot. First of all, handles for my lovely hands, but it's wider at the top than the bottom. So the plant comes out really easily. That's how a pot should be.
Nothing in my pot, nothing up my arms. Now that still may fall apart when I go to lift it in. So if you've got a kill switch for bad language, kill it now. Turn it back on. Things are all right. Although I wouldn't recommend fertilizing plants when you're planting them, because that can burn the roots off them, if it's a slow release fertilizer, you're okay. So this is a native plant fertilizer, uh, and it's very gentle, and it won't start working for a little while anyway. And you put it on now, this is the big one though, almost everybody does that. And that's wrong. Why is it wrong? Well, these little, little grains have got a coating on them and they release the fertiliser slowly when there's a moist environment. I mean, if they didn't have that, they'd go off in the pot and be horrible. So they've got to be wet. So you've got to dig them into the soil. In this case, we're digging them into potting mix. Potting mix is not soil and has no soil in it. Now, I'm still going to put a little bit more potting mix on top of that, but I'll water it first, you don't want to see that. So there's your basic job done. Now we've, got, we've turned a horrible plant into a beautiful plant, and we even managed to recycle the potting mix that was in there. That's pretty good stuff for me.